Hi, I'm Dr. Mayang Valsu and uh, this video describes, as the title says, a sutureless uh, fecal emulsification cataract surgery and uh, maybe of interest to patients, uh, medical graduates or uh, ophthalmology residents who are starting training to really understand what we're doing in a typical routine fecal emulsification cataract surgery. So we start off by making one incision in the eye, which is a 2.2 millimeter incision, after which we inject a viscoelastic inside the eye to really form the anterior chamber. After which we're using this 20 gauge, uh, 26 gauge needle to make an opening in this capsular bag. Now, uh, this capsular bag is, think of it like a bag which is holding all of the cataractus lens. And uh, we want to get a nice circular opening so that uh, we're able to, at the end of the surgery, implant the artificial lens inside it. Also, when it's a nice circular opening, we're able to do the phaco emulsification without any complications. Now here I'm making another incision for a side instrument. And now we inject some fluid to separate this cataractus lens from the capsular bag. And after which uh, we're essentially put in more fluid and uh, doing as much dissection as possible. Um, here in, once we've done all of this hydro dissection as we call it, we get these nice golden rings and then start off by doing the phaco emulsification. So this is the phaco emulsification probe that's entering the eye and I'm using another side instrument. Um, in this case it's a Sinsky hook and uh, we're trying to get these cracks in the lens. And what these cracks help us is in being able to take out all of this uh, hard, what we call as the nuclear matter, uh, from inside the eye. Uh, we're able to aspirate it more successfully then. And once we have these cracks, um, then aspirating or first dissolving or what we call phaco emulsifying the lens material is the next step. And once all of this uh, phaco emulsification or dissolving of the lens is done, uh, we're able to aspirate it and uh, thereafter uh, take out all of this hard material, all of the cataract. Now, it's important at this stage to be uh, very careful of not aspirating parts of the capsular bag. Um, it's most uh, bare at this stage. so. Uh, if we, are, if we do cause a nick or an opening, then there's a chance of the lens material going posteriorly in the retina or the fundus. And uh, well, as a retina surgeon, we are able to take care of that, uh, but something that's best avoided. Uh, so taking care not to aspirate all of the, all of the cortical uh, matter and taking care not to cause a opening in the posterior capsule. Uh, we're able to aspirate all of this and at the end of it to a polish to remove all of the lens fibers. With this done, uh, most of our cataract surgery is uh, towards the end and uh, now it's time to implant the, caps the intraocular lens. So for that, we first fill up the bag with this gel called the viscoelastic and that gel allows us to get a nice, uh, a nice centered position of the IOL. So this is the foldable lens being injected and it beautifully opens up inside the capsular bag. We're nudging it inside the capsular bag and then it opens gently. It being well centered, we now aspirate out all of this viscoelastic gel and uh, that's towards the conclusion of the cataract surgery. So I uh, hope you enjoyed all of this video. It's uh, the attempt has been really to share how we would typically do a cataract surgery, uh, how predictable it is, how sutureless uh, it is. And uh, uh, the results uh, are nearly instantaneous. So uh, I wish you all the best and thank you for watching.